Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here. Now let's talk a little bit about the Atari Jaguar. It's become a very popular system to collect for, but the thing about the Jaguar is finding official cables to connect it to your TV can be a little bit challenging. And even if you do, what if you want to play it on a more modern television and not on your CRT? Well, there are a few great options out there thanks to the folks at Humble Bazooka. They made this fella. This is the JAG AIOA, and this is just one of a couple of different options that they have to connect your existing Atari Jaguar to just about whatever TV you want to do it to, including HDMI. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at a couple of these uh, situations here. Let's start with the uh, start with the basics. Start at the start. This is the uh, JAG AIOA Amped. So this is kind of like this is kind of your basic version here. You've got your uh, uh, S video connection here. This is for RGB. Uh, runs on the uh, Sega Genesis 2 kind of cable. So if you got some fancy Sega 2 cables, you can get you some pretty nice uh, picture quality out of here. And then your standard AV situation. And this just plugs into the back of your system like so. Look at that. Fits in nice and snug, just like a dream. And that is the basic version of the amped. I'm feeling pretty amped just looking at it. All right, next up, next step up, we have the JAG AIOA Plus. This one does everything that other one does. You got your S video, your RGB, your AV cables. Plus, it's got these guys for doing a JAG net. Right, Jagnet, what it's called, uh, for you know, System Link and all that other wacky stuff that you can do uh, with these ports. And then you've got uh, your power switch on the side, on or off. Um, that helps you work with the, uh, let's say you've got a Jaguar game drive, you can turn on and off the, the Jagnet capability so it doesn't interfere with any of the other regular stuff you're doing. It's got the Humble Bazooka logo embossed on the bottom there. Embossed, is that the right word? I want to say it is. I feel confident that that's the right word. And then we're going to plug this one in the back the same exact way. Uh, doesn't really get in the way of anything except for your L and H switch. I don't even know what that does. I don't think I've ever noticed that switch before. I have no idea what that does. Uh, and obviously you're not going to need to use the uh, regular TV switch, but your power supply is still readily accessible. Looks just fine sticking out of the back there. And there we go. Now the other one we're going to look at is if you uh, aren't going CRT, you want to go new school, we're going to connect the JAG to HD. And that is exactly what it sounds like. HDMI. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. You can change a 16 by 9 or, or 4 by 3 display. Uh, I think the 16 by 9 is like a stretched kind of things. I don't think Jaguar games had native H uh, widescreen built in, but I could be wrong. We'll have to give that a test a little later. But yeah, this uh, doesn't require any sort of external power source or anything. We just plug it right into the back, just like the other ones. Again, it slides in simple as can be. And there you have it. Those are uh, the JAG 2 HD and the JAG AIOA models. Uh, that's what they look like. Let's, uh, let's give them a test in action. Okay, so I have Raiden for Atari Jaguar up and running on my TV, and I actually plugged in the uh, the regular base AIOA into the back of the system, and I plugged in a Genesis 2 Level Hike HDMI cable, and it actually is coming out really nice. Uh, there's a tiny bit of input lag. I would chalk that up to, well, not really, actually. I'm not seeing much of anything in terms of input lag. I mean, not anything really perceptible, uh, but if there is anything, I'd probably chalk it up to the, oh boy, I am not great at this game, to the actual HDMI cable instead of the uh, the unit itself, because this is uh, this is working like a charm. It just, uh, it again, uh, plugged plugged in the HDMI cable, uh, the whole level X situation, just as it was, but there's Raiden, or Raiden, or however the heck you say it, running on my Jaguar uh, without any problems. Now let's, uh, let's try the other one. Let's try the Jag 2 HD. We're just going to go straight Jag 2 HD right to the TV, see how that pans out. All right, so here, thanks floating head, we have, uh, the, my Jaguar is hooked up now with just the JAG2 HD uh, going straight in from uh, just, just HDMI cable right from that thing right to the TV. And uh, the picture quality is uh, definitely nicer than uh, using the, uh, H, just the, using the, uh, what did I use, the a level hike just a few minutes ago. I mean, I did not learn to fly floating head. I barely ever played this game before because it's really weird. But yeah, this is Cybermorph uh, running just direct HDMI. It looks great. This one has, I mean, no input lag at all. It's just a, it just feels like a, 
Well, it feels about as good as Cybermorph could possibly feel. But uh, there you go. That is uh, the Jag 2 HD. I did not learn to fly. Leave me alone, floating head. There's the, the Jag 2 HD, the Jag AOA. Uh, they all work uh, plug and play. Pretty straightforward. There you have it. Various versions of the JAG AIOA as well as the JAG 2 HD from Humble Bazooka are available now at StoneAgeGamer.com so you can connect your Jaguar to whatever TV you want with whatever cables make you happy. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like what you saw here today, please follow, comment, like, and subscribe and let us know down in the comments what games you're going to play on your Jaguar in wonderful glorious fidelity first. I recommend Flip Out because that's an awesome puzzle game that has never been ported to anything ever including Atari 50 which made me so sad and it's really worth your time. Thanks again for watching. I'll be half Volves here at Stone Age Gamer. Keep playing games. Yeah, take that card. Oh, that's a flamingo. How did I even die? Oh, I'll torch the bubster, all right. Hate this game.